What's up fellow jewelers? Just jumping on real quick because I have a problem and I have a solution to that problem, okay? Have you ever made, this is for my epoxy peeps, have you ever made some pieces like earrings or pendants and you made just a bunch of them, but one or two, maybe three had a problem. They had holes in it. Look at this. Like you can't, oh my gosh. This drives me nuts. Like you do everything you can, you get the fire, right? Or you do the rubbing alcohol. I mean, whatever it is to get rid of those bubbles and you think you got rid of all your bubbles, but one sneaks in and hides in the very place that is detrimental. So when this would happen to me, I would throw it out, right? Because I'm like, it's a waste. I can't do anything. I can't put um, my, my jump ring on there because my jump ring will just come through, right? So this is what we do. Really simple, but if you only use epoxy, this is stepping out of your comfort zone because today you're gonna need UV resin. That's right. I know, like some of us were just like, I'm just an epoxy resin person or I'm just a UV resin person. If you're just an epoxy, this might be a little bit out of your comfort zone, but it will save your jewelry pieces time and time again, I promise you, okay? So what you're gonna do first is you're actually going to put your jump ring in first. You need your jump ring to go in there first. You're gonna open your jump ring. I'm gonna move all these guys. You're gonna open your jump ring. You're going to put it through. It may fall through, but that's okay. If not, oh, it did fall through. <laughs> Just kidding. So it fell through. Um, sometimes I have it where they don't fall through. So that's right. We're just going to close this up. Sometimes you just need to open it and put it in because a lot of times I've had it where it, you can't put it in, but this one, in this case, you're going to want to just slide it on there just like that. Okay. It's going to want to be in there before, before you do this tip, because you may close up the hole too much. And so if your jump ring is in there, then you're going to, it's going to be good. So put your jump ring in there first, whether you have to open it and close it or whether you just slide it on there because the hole is too big. So now, um, this hole is huge. This hole is ginormous. So we're going to do just a drop. We're going to try to not close up. Um, yes, just a drop. And we may have to do it a couple times. Now, before it drips, I'm going to put light on it because I don't want it dripping down into where my jump ring needs to be because it's liquid. It wants to just fall down. So we're going to do a little dab at first. This, this is a big hole. Usually my holes are not this big, but this one is a big hole and we're going to quickly dry it on like this. Okay, we're gonna quickly dry it because we're trying to save this pendant because it sucks to stop it after waiting 24 hours doing all that work just to throw away because of a little bubble that hid in the wrong place. Arr! You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're gonna dry it real quick. Okay, and now we're gonna do it again because it filled in part of the hole, but not the whole hole. The whole hole. <laughs> the whole hole. Sorry, that was not as funny as it sounded to me. Okay, so that is looking good. Once again, we're going to, oh, is it dripping? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, it is dripping down. I talk too much, I talk too much, it's dripping down. That's okay, that's why you have the jump ring in there. So because it's dripping down, we're gonna put the jump ring where it needs to be so it dries in the right place. Ha ha ha. So we're drying it like so because it dripped down because I was talking too much. You gotta not talk, you just gotta put it on and then hurry up and, and flash dry it and the jump ring's gonna stay where it's at. So um, you wanna place the jump ring exactly where you want it um, so it can dry with the um, UV resin. We're gonna dry it. And kind of like the, the jump ring kind of hides the hole for the most part, not always, but it kind of hides it. You may not want to sell it. You may just want to give away as a present if it's too bad, but um, in this case, you still are saving it and you're just doing the top, okay? So we're doing good. Once we flash dry it, we're gonna put it under the lamp so it can dry completely all the way through. This is just a flash dry to kind of like freeze it. In this case, we froze the UV resin just to stop where it's at, but we need to dry it all the way through, like the whole thing. And that's where we get the lamp out and stuff. So this is looking good. Yep, we did it. Now we're just gonna put it under the lamp for, for I'd say, um, I'd say a minute would be good. Um, if you're really cautious, you can do, if you're really like um, wanting to make sure it's really, really dry, you can do it for two minutes and stuff. But we're just gonna do it on both sides. We're gonna flip it on both sides and then it should be completely dry. And guess what? You just saved your jewelry piece. That's right, you're welcome. <laughs> and that, my fellow jewelers, is how you save your pendant or your earring, whatever it is.